Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Reading Through the Bible in a Year. Um, for everybody that listens to this, I'd appreciate some prayers. Um, I'm not quite sure what's going on for the last two days. I've woken up with a sore throat. My head kind of stopped up weirdly. I'm hoping it's just all the pollen flying. Um... I have been taking a lot of supplements to keep my immune system up, so I'm not thinking that I'm anywhere close to getting this mess that's going around. Um, it's been, I don't know, three or four or five years, whatever, since I've even had a cold. So, um, I've got a lot to do uh, here by myself right now, and um, I just need to get the energy up to do it. <laughs> So, I thought maybe getting in the Word would help me feel a little bit better. It usually does. So, we're going to be um, back in Acts today, and I'm, I'm hoping I'm not going to butcher these words. I, I try to get on and, and find pronunciation for things, and then by the time I get to the reading, I've forgotten how to pronounce it anyway, especially if I look up three or four of them. But, I thank you all for your prayers, and... Uh, I've got a whole bunch of tomato plants to transplant, and uh, I need to get it done because we're supposed to get rain Monday. We had a real nice day yesterday and day before. Finally, three or four days without any rain. It'd be great if I had uh, my folks here that have been helping me, um, but they're out on the road in a big truck. So it's, uh, I know I'm not going to be able to get to the painting, I don't think. We'll have to wait and see, because not only do I make my dog food, but I also make dog treats for these four critters, and uh, they're about out, so I need to get busy with that tomorrow, too. Just a lot to do, and um, my health isn't the greatest. I, I know most of you that listen to me know um, I've got adult scoliosis and to, uh, degenerative disc disease in my back, and Blah, 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 blah. Getting old sucks, but hey, it's just a part of life. So I do what I can, and sometimes I make the mistake of pushing myself too hard, and then I don't feel good for a couple of days. But it is what it is. I just got to learn to stop and take breaks. I'm one of those kind of people that once I start something, I want to get it done. Um, and I just have to realize that this coming Friday, I'm going to be 62, and... Because of all the arthritis and stuff going on in my joints, I just don't do as well as I used to. I'm not a spring chicken anymore. I have a cousin. Um, he's passed away, but his wife is several years older than I because I was like the baby of the grandchildren on my mom's side. And uh, I want to say his wife is probably 12 to 15 years older than I am. She's she's in her mid to late 70s. I have she looks like she's about 50. And this woman is just go 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 constantly. And I just don't know how she does it. And, and I, I'm happy for her that she doesn't have it, any of these issues. I think I could deal with most anything except the the pain in my joints and my back. I've had back problems for years. Driving a truck for 15 years didn't help. Bouncing down the road for hours a day just made things worse. So I'm pretty sure that's how I got the curvature of my spine was working in that truck. But it is what it is. And we know that the Lord will give me the strength I need to have and to feel good. Um, because all this sickness and whatever's going on is just the devil's plan. And we know that... Anything he can form again against us will not prosper. So I know the Lord's on my side. He will give me the strength and the, the oomph to get it done. So all prayers, all prayers are appreciated. Anyway, enough of me talking. Let's get into the word. Acts 12 and 13 today. Now, about that time, Herod, the king, stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. 
and he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw it please the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions, quaternion, that's one word I did not see how to pronounce. I've never heard this word. Quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, a, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. And he went out and followed him. And was, was not that it was true, which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. When they were past the first and the second ward, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord. And they went out and passed on through one street, and forthwith the angel departed from him. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord hath sent his angel and hath delivered me out of the hand of Herod, and from all the expectations of the people of the Jews. And when he had considered the thing, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. And as Peter knocked at the door of the gate, a damsel came to hearken, named Rhoda. And when she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in and told how Peter stood before the gate. And they said unto her, Thou art mad. But she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then said they, It is his angel. But Peter continued knocking, and when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But he, beckoning unto them with the hand to hold their peace, declared unto them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. And he said, Go shew these things unto James and to the brethren. And he departed and went into another place. Now as soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers what was become of Peter. And when Herod had sought for him and found him not, he examined the keepers and commanded that they should be put to death. And he went down from Judea to Caesarea and there abode. And Herod was highly displeased with them of Tyre and Sidon. But they came with one accord to him, and having made Blastus the king's chamberlain their friend, desired peace, because their country was nourished by the king's country. And upon a set day Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne and made an oration unto them. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of a god, and not of a man. And immediately... The angel of the Lord smote him, because he gave not God the glory, and he was eaten of worms and gave up the ghost. And the word of God grew and multiplied, and Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem when they had fulfilled their ministry and took with them John, whose surname was Mark. Chapter 13 <clears throat> Now there were in the church that was at Antioch, certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simeon, that were called Niger and Lucius of Cyrene, and Manian, Manaean, ah, and Manaean, which had been brought up with Herod, the Tetrarch, and Saul. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work whereunto I have called them. And when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. So they, being sent forth, 
by the Holy Ghost, departed from Seleucia, and from thence they sailed to Cyprus. And when they were at Salamis, they preached the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews, and they had also John to their minister. And when they had gone through the Isle of Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was Bargesus, which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. But Elimius the sorcerer, for so is his name by interpretation, withstood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. Then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him, and said, O full of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil, thou enemy of all righteousness, wilt thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Lord? And now, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him a mist and a darkness, and he went about seeking someone to lead him by the hand. Then the deputy, when he saw what was done, believed being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord. Now when Paul and his company loosed from Paphos, they came to Perga in Pamphylia, and John, departing from them, returned to Jerusalem. But when they departed from Perga, they came unto Antioch and Pisidia, and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and sat down. And after the reading of the law, and the prophets, the rulers of the synagogue, sent unto them, saying, Ye men and brethren, if ye have any word of exhortation for the people, say on. Then Paul stood up, beckoning with his hand, said, Men of Israel, and ye that fear God, give audience. The God of this people of Israel chose our fathers and exalted the people when they dwelt as strangers in the land of Egypt, and with an high arm brought he them out of it. And about the time of forty years suffered he their manners in the wilderness. And when he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Shanaan, he divided their land to them by lot. And after that, he gave unto them judges about the space of four hundred and fifty years until Samuel the prophet. And afterward they desired a king. And God gave unto them Saul, the son of Sis, a man of the tribe of Benjamin by the space of forty years. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed hath God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior, Jesus. When John had first preached before his coming the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel, and as John fulfilled his course, he said, Whom think ye that I am? I am not he, but behold, there cometh one after me, whose shoes of his feet I am not worthy to loose. Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you feareth God, to you is the word of this salvation sent. For they that dwell in Jerusalem, and their rulers, because they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets, which are read every Sabbath day, they have fulfilled them in, con in condemning him. And though they found no cause of death in him, yet desired they Pilate that he should be slain. And when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a sepulcher. But God raised him from the dead, and he has seen many days of them which came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are his witnesses unto the people. And we declare unto you glad tidings, 
how that the promise which was made unto the fathers, God hath fulfilled the same unto us their children, and that he hath raised up Jesus again, as it is also written in the second psalm. Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And as concerning that he raised him up from the dead, now, no more to return to corruption, he said on this wise, I will give you the sure mercies of David. Wherefore he saith also in another psalm, Thou shalt not suffer thine holy one to see corruption. For David, after he had served his own generation by the will of God, fell on sleep and was laid unto his fathers and saw corruption. But he, whom God raised again, saw no corruption. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins, and by him all that believe are justified from all things, from which ye could not be justified by the law of Moses. Beware, therefore, lest that come upon you which is spoken of in the prophets. Behold, ye despisers, and wonder, and perish, for I work a work in your days, a work which ye shall in no wise believe, though a man declare it unto you. And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. Now when the congregation was broken up, many of the Jews and religious proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas, who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of God. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of God. But when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with envy and spake against those things which were spoken by Paul, contradic contradicting and blaspheming. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, It was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you, but seeing ye put it from you, and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. For so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord. And as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. And the word of the Lord was published throughout all the region. But the Jews stirred up the devout and honorable women and the chief men of the city and raised persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them out of their coasts. But they shook off the dust of their feet against them and came into Iconium. And the disciples were, disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Ghost. And that will do it for today's reading. I thank you so much for listening. I thank you for all prayers offered for myself and anyone else that needs them. And we just ask that you be kind to one another. Help your neighbors. Check on the elderly. Do whatever you can do. Like the Lord says, be to your neighbor as you are to yourself. Everyone have a blessed day and we'll see you next time. Thanks for listening.